So you wake up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning, depending on the day. Uh, Monday is 6 and the rest of the week is 7. Then you've got two hours of military training and that can be consisting of PT or it can be a brief um, or whatever year group, whatever you're doing in your year group um, for that day. And then from there you've got your classes for uni. So you, you attend your tutorials and lectures like a uni student would. And then you finish uh, uni around 5, 5.30 or 6. And then from there you've got your sport or your extracurricular activities to complete at night. And then you've got obviously study you've got to be doing. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much a day in the life of our of ADFA. <laughs> yeah, so um, Sophie makes it sound like it's quite full on, but <laughs> um, it's actually like make it how you want. It's choose your own adventure. Is pretty much as much as you want to sign up for and get into things, that's how chock block you'll be. Um, but seriously, like get around everything and make the most out of your time at ADFA. This place is very, very focused on doing your degree. It's the main purpose of ADFA, really. So you generally you'll wake up between eight to 10 is when you'll be doing your military studies. So it's just two hours a day blocked out. That will include PT and other things like that. So generally um, you'll be focusing a lot more on your studies throughout that 10 to uh, five period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, as Chris said, there is an emphasis on academic studies. Yeah. And staff and um, the academy are very cognizant of that and Definitely when it comes to blocks when you know study is ramping up and you have exams, staff are very uh, conscious of the fact that they need to give you time to prepare for that. So at times you might find that academics does, there is an obvious privilege of academics over military, but of course there are those blocks mm. where we do have military studies. for accommodation so it's subsidised and you get to live with 40 odd people so you get uh, four people in one part of where you're going to live and you have one bathroom um, one laundry and one toilet mm -hmm. and it's it's enough for you guys to it's more than enough mm. and um, you get to experience that communal living that you probably won't get anywhere else um, you get to meet lifelong mates you know have have really good banter and just you know have a good time There's so many sports yeah. to choose from here. So, name a sport, you, you'll find it. And if it doesn't exist, you can create it, get yeah, a bunch of mates together and <laughs> do it yourself. Um, yeah, so pretty much you got the basics like rugby, basketball, soccer, AFL, like those, you know, ones that are pretty common. Um, you can join the running club, like there's long distance, like that. Um, yeah, so I play soccer and I played basketball last year. Um, so I play rugby, soccer, and I'm part of a few like co-curricular, like, clubs that promote fitness such as Sisters in Arms. We get all the girls together, do fitness um, and pretty much female empowerment and everything like that. Um, yeah, so this, there's so many sports out there. Like as, as Chris said, if you if there's not a sport that you don't that you, you know that isn't here, you can make it yourself. Also a lot of the sporting clubs have put up videos on the ADFA page, so check them out as well. Absolutely. And another amazing aspect of ADFA as well is the sporting competitions and uh, the travel and the opportunities that you get. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah. So most of the clubs are entered into the local Canberra co competitions. So you're playing local sport um, in whatever grade that ADFA sees fit for that team. Um, and from there, you know, that you've got other clubs that are from nearby Canberra. So there's like Kuma and Wagga and all those, those people um, are involved. So you can travel around. Um, definitely, yeah, you, you go around Canberra every weekend playing your sport, so that's a really good opportunity to see Canberra if you're new here, so it's really good. Mm. Met so many different people mm -hmm. from everywhere around Australia, and like even not just like, people who go to ADFA, but people who come to visit ADFA for like presentations yeah. and things like that, and different training you got here and there, and coaches, and yeah, it's just like amazing people in my life now. Like, it's awesome just to have this wide view of all these awesome friends and different reasons and yeah, it's, that's something that's shocked me for sure.